Wakelet is a collection tool. It's great for creating uh, collections of resources you want to share with your students and for you to create differentiated lessons. So first you're going to want to sign up, but I've already got an account, so you're going to sign up real quick. And uh, once you've done that, you're going to log in here. So what's great about Wakelet is that you can collect just about anything on the internet. All right. So I've already got a few collections here. I want to create a new collection. So to create a new collection, I can choose to add a cover image. I can upload it from my gallery if I've created one, or I can choose from uh, one that they've already got in here. So I'm just going to grab this one right now. I can choose whether it's a full or a half cover image, and then I can give it a, um, a title. I can write a description. So this is so now that I've got this, I'm going to start with the plus button. So when I click on the plus, I can add in all of these elements. I can paste a URL. I can add text. YouTube video, tweets, bookmarks, image, PDF, Drive, OneDrive, and a Flipgrid video. So anything that I want to add in there is great. I can add in a URL to a website uh, or a quizzes assignment or a article I want my students to read. But the other thing that's great about this is text. So I want to add some text here. I'm going to hit this plus button here and I can format with bold, italicized, underline, and so forth. So I've already copied and pasted, I'm going to copy and paste some text here. Include instructions and bullet points so I can bold anything. So if I wanted to italicize, um, and this is an example of how you can enter some text. So now I've saved that. There's options here for if I want to add in a URL. What's great is it actually creates a preview of the site, easily reorder it. But turn on whether or not someone can copy this if I want them to be able to copy it. I can choose whether or not I want it public, which means everybody can see it. Every text element that there's something added, you get the immersive reader. I can share it with all of these platforms. Most importantly, I can share it directly with Google Classroom.